Audio is going to be a little off because my microphone batteries ran down, so I'm having to use iPhone audio here. But I want to talk about batteries, something new I figured out. If you've watched my videos, you know I got way too into testing batteries with the discharger and then some real world testing. And the battery that came out on top every single time was not the battery that I expected. Somehow these Thunderbolt Edge turned out to be really good, but a close second was one that I really like, the Rayovac made in the USA batteries. I like that they're made in the USA. I like the Rayovac brand. I even like the new blue, dual tone blue here, blue on blue, color doesn't matter. Performance is what counts, but the made in USA meant a lot to me. And I incorrectly said in a video that the price was 37 cents per cell. It's actually 50 cents per cell for these USA made Rayovacs, leading me to invest so much in these Thunderbolt Edge, which are 41 cents per pack, but that's any day, any given day, and get these for 41 cents per pack. But recently they ran a sale on these, and man, did I stock up. I have loaded up with, there's $57 worth here, and then I went back and got even more batteries. I have Thunderbolt Edge batteries out the yin yang, and I got these for 20 cents per battery for the triple A's and the double A's. And by the way, the double A's went quick on this sale. This was their Black Friday sale. Although for a week beforehand, their inside track customers with Harbor Freight had it. I'm not a member of that. So I didn't get that. I just went on Black Friday and got the deal. But these Rayovac batteries, I did find some 37 cent Rayovac batteries. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I purchased them. The pack was all busted up. Some have been used and you're about to find out why and the results of that and why I'm making this video. But these batteries were 37 cents when you bought the 60 pack, but it turns out they're not made in the USA. They're made in Belgium. Nothing against the fine people of Belgium. I love Belgian chocolate. I bought some at Aldi's that I could show you now. If I hadn't already eaten it, that's how good Belge stuff is. So I wondered if there was gonna be any performance difference between the USA made Rayovacs and the Belgian Rayovacs, cause I didn't test that. In any of my other testing, I have charts and graphs and stuff. So when it came time for my outdoor Christmas decorations, I have some pathway markers. There are 10 sets of three, so 30 of them. These little candles, the shaft lights up, the candle flame lights up, they flicker. I put batteries in those and I mixed it up. My usual suspects, I thought, wow, another really good real world test. Let's see if I can show you this. Get it up here, it's heavy. About to here was from all my battery tests. The rest of that was Halloween. And in all of my Halloween decorations, I was gonna make a video about this. I just never did end up editing it together. But in all my battery powered pumpkins that light up, all these batteries, the Thunderbolt Edge still came out on top. And the last was the E-Circuit, just like in my charts, in my drawdown tester and in my real world testing. And now more real world testing with Halloween decorations. I'm already into Christmas decorations. I've had them up a week and this is what I have used. But when it came to those pathway markers, I thought, hey, now is the time to use some of these Rayovacs. And because I had eight different batteries, technically seven because I took out the E-Circuit, well, I ran out of E-Circuits, and I wasn't gonna buy any more. So that made the Amazon Basics my lowest tier battery, but I'm gonna leave the E-Circuits in this graph because I thought, hey, I can find out if these Rayovacs perform as well as the U these Belgian Rayovacs perform as well as the USA made Rayovacs using those pathway markers, because it's gonna turn out well. I had the seven batteries. Well, then I had these Rayovac Belgians and I added a couple of extras. Somewhere along the line, I came across some Rayovac Fusions that I bought up. I guess just had money I needed to spend Spent five bucks for these. Ever Ready Golds. I found some Ever Ready Golds. I used to use these a lot. Years and years ago, my very first ever battery test video on YouTube on a different channel. Used Ever Ready Golds as kind of the platform base for a good battery. They were made in USA back then, but now they are made in Singapore, at least the pack that I have here. So I used my others. I used the Rayovac Fusions. I used the Ever Ready Gold, and that left a slot for these Belgian maids. 
So imagine my surprise. Well, let me just tell you, those pathway lights, I usually get five good days. And that's Amazon Basics, so I expected with Thunderbolt Edge, curious about these, with the cold weather performance, it's down into the 20s now at night. But the Duracell, the Rayovac, USA made batteries, the Members Mark batteries. Want to know if those are going to do better or worse in the cold weather and then the new batteries. It's a good time to check these Rayovac Belgiums versus the Rayovac USA. And look at this. This is after the second day. This is literally as it got dark on the third day. So two full days and the way they work, they turn on and they run for six hours and turn off. So 12 hours and I'm going to round it up to 13 because they had literally just turned on when I spotted. There's three of them here that are definitely way more dim than the others. I thought for sure that was going to be E-Circuit batteries. But then I remembered, wait a minute, I didn't use E-Circuits out here. So it has to be Amazon Basics, but they usually go for about four to five days. Oh, must be the Vinico. Because the Vinico online, they said these didn't do well when it got cold outside. So imagine my surprise. When I open them up and they are Rayovac batteries, I let out an audible gasp. Then I took them out to discover they are Belgian Rayovacs, and the USA ones are still going strong along with all the others. This makes these Belgian-made Rayovacs that are 37 cents each, they're not performing well at all. As a matter of fact, they're way down low on the list. If you go with my Opus Discharge Tester, and it wasn't just in those lights, I had these results on here and I was going to show them to you on camera, but some idiot unplugged this to plug his lights that are used to illuminate all this with. So just gonna have to go by my average that I have here, but I got an average runtime on this Opus tester compared to all the others here of three hours and 31 minutes. That puts them below the E-Circuit, the worst performing battery. And look how far from this Thunderbolt edge. And if we get it, I didn't run them in the CD player, but I'm sure they would be at the bottom there. They're definitely at the bottom on the pathway markers they didn't last. Like I said, I'm going to round up. I'm going to give them an advantage of an hour that they didn't really get. But two days, six hours, that's 12. That's 13 hours. I'm on the fifth day now. I'm going to be replacing some batteries tonight, I'm sure. But still, that's not good. So an extra three days for the others, that's what? Six times three is 18. That's 18 extra hours of runtime that these Rayovac Belgium batteries couldn't do. And the USA ones, as far as I know, I don't know which one they're in of all the pathway lights, but they're still going strong. So we'll see. I just thought I should make a video about this just in case someone gets on the Walmart website and sees these Rayovacs and sees my video where the Made in the USA Rayovacs did so good and saw that I got these for 37 cents. They're not the same battery. They look the same, but they are not the same performing battery. The pathway markers were the first indicator, but now Opus testing has shown me. Oh, and the average, the milliamp hour average, because if this were still illuminated, I could click through and show you the milliamp hour average on these. They're dead last on it versus all the other batteries. Yeah, still in my calculator, 1399 was the average that I got out of these and only three hours and 31 minutes of runtime average versus the USA made Rayovax that ran in this exact same tester for four hours and 26 minutes with a whatever I put on the screen, milliamp hour draw. Yeah, pretty sad. Bad, bad performer. Definitely not worth the money. These are 37 cents each. Remember, I only paid 41 cents for these retail. And then I caught them on sale. I got them for 20 cents each. Of course, you can't always depend on a sale price. And yeah, I did get, I got everything they had as far as D size, C size, double A, triple A, everything I could find to buy, I bought. I didn't buy all their batteries, but I bought all their types of batteries, but definitely not worth it for these. It's just amazing to me how the same brand can have such different performance based on where it's made. Well, that in itself isn't amazing, What's amazing is that the brand will allow it because I would think that that detracts the performance of these 
would detract from this. People aren't going to see them made in the USA, or they may just equate. Well, the last time I got Rayovacs, they lasted less than every battery that I had had. Why would I pay more for the Made in USA ones to get the same performance? It's not the same performance. That's my story. Rayovac Belgium made batteries. They're failing on me faster than any of the others. Who would have guessed? Comment below if you have any thoughts, opinions, or any clarity on this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.